Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to the channel, I am Parky P and this is our continuation of UCW Undisputed Championship Wrestling. Now I've already made tonight's show so let's just go straight in and I'll take you through it. So we've got Debray self promotion to open the show. After Finn Balor called him out he feels like he's got to respond so that's why Debrian is straightening in, straightening out, showing up straight away and you know he's going to make his intentions clear. And then we've got the New Japan Dream Match, the WWE slightly underwhelming Dream Match, AJ Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura to see who advances in the tournament for the, to crown the first ever UCW World Champion. Going to be very interested in that one. And then we have Velveteen Dream versus Pete Dunne. Now, Dream and Dunn teamed in the week before for a chance to compete for the first ever UCW Intercontinental title. And they were in a losing effort, so they're taking their frustrations out on each other in this match. And then we've got a nice little tag team division match. Carl Anderson, Luke Gallows, the OC, versus the Street Profits, Dawkins and Ford. See who can build a bit of momentum, possibly go on to challenge the first ever champions in UCW, the New Day, you know, whoever picks up a win, start building a bit of progress towards a title shot. And then we've got another UCW heavyweight title tournament match, Owens, Samoa Joe, that's just going to be a beefy battle. And then the second round of the Intercontinental Tag Team Tournament. Uh, Champa and Murphy are teaming up to take on Ricochet and Alistair Black. The winning tag team will go on to make up the last two participants of the Fatal 4-Way to crown the first ever UCW Intercontinental t Champion. So far we have Adam Cole and Rey Mysterio in that match. So, you know, one, two of these four will go on to finish that match, which will happen on next week's show to crown the Intercontinental Champion. And then we've got Eric and Ivar against Otis and Tucker, again trying to build up a bit of momentum, possibly take them on through to a title shot at some point in the future. And then the main event, in a spectacular fashion, Charlotte Flair, Becky Lynch, Sasha Banks. The winner of this will go on to that final Fatal 4-Way to crown the first ever UCW Women's Champion, which currently only Bailey is in with the surprise of, uh, the surprise victory over Asuka and Nia Jax. So it's going to be very interesting to see who goes through. But you know, let's start the show. So up first we've got Daniel Bryan self promo. We'll simulate that. You know he he does a good promo. Now AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura. Who are you guys betting on? I'm not going to pick the winner. I'm going to you know randomize it. Hold X. I'm going for AJ. I think AJ's gonna. It's just got more about him, especially on this version of the game with a higher overall rating. So AJ's my choice. Is he gonna win? No, Shinsuke won. Okay, that's very interesting. Shinsuke now goes on to face Seth Rollins in the uh, what is it? Quarterfinals, semifinals, semifinals of the UCW Heavyweight Tournament. Velveteen Dream, Pete Dunn. Oh, I'm gonna go Dunn. Uh, oh, Velveteen Dream won. Okay, nice. That is interesting. Gallows, Anderson, the OC, Street Profits. The OC win. Build the momentum on their side. Now, UCW Heavyweight Title Tournament match. Owens, Samoa Joe. Who are you gonna go for? I think I'm going to pick Joe in this. Let's just see. No, Owens won. Okay. My predictions have been very wrong so far. Murphy, Champa, Ricochet, Alistair Black. Oh, I don't know. I'd love to see Murphy and Champa go through. But I think Ricochet and Black are going to do it. And they do. So, that means the Fatal 4-Way match for next week is going to be Adam Cole versus Rey Mysterio versus Ricochet versus Alistair Black. That's a hell of a match. Ivar, Eric, the Viking Raiders 
against heavy machinery. And the Viking Raiders pick up the win. Nice to see them going through. Now, this is going to be interesting. Sasha Banks, who's really been done over with her overall rating on this game. She's 80, whereas Becky and Charlotte are both, I believe, near the 90s. Which doesn't look too good for Sasha, but she may pull it off, you never know. I'm going to pick Becky for this, because you know, she's the man. And, yeah, let, let's just see. And it is Becky. Okay, so Becky and Bailey have cemented their places in the, well, in the final Fatal 4-Way to crown the first ever Women's Champion. It is now week three of UCW Anarchy, and we are opening the show with Becky Lynch calling out Bailey to build some much-needed tension ahead of the Fatal 4-Way to crown the first ever UCW Women's t Champion. And then, straight after that promo, we're going into another contendership match. Rhea Ripley vs Io Shirai vs Shayna Baszler. The winner goes on to claim the third spot in that Fatal 4-Way match. And then we have the defending champions, Xavier Woods, Big E, Kofi Kingston at ringside, the New Day. Not actually defending the championships, but uh, they're going on in a match against the Undisputed Era, Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. Uh, Adam Cole not at ringside because he's got a very important match later on. So we're just seeing how the proper tandem of the Undisputed Era can take on against the champions. That makes no sense. And then we have Seth Rollins, Shinsuke Nakamura, the two participants in the first quarterfinal match of the UCW Heavyweight Tournament. Uh, seeing if they can coexist against the losers of the previous week's matches, AJ Styles and Samoa Joe. Can Shinsuke and Seth get on? We'll find out. And then Kevin Owens, a bit of self-promotion after his impressive win last week over Joe to go through in the tournament. And then we have the Indy Dream match, Daniel Bryan versus Finn Balor in the last round of eight, last what, quarterfinal? Last quarterfinal match of the UCW Heavyweight Tournament. The winner of this will go on to face Kevin Owens uh, at some point in the future. And the main event, Ricochet versus Alistair Black versus Rey Mysterio versus Adam Cole to crown our first ever UCW Intercontinental Champion. I don't know who my money's on on that. I really don't know. I have to go. I have to go Ray. Ray's one of my favourites as a kid. And I'd love it if he could pick up the dub. So Becky Lynch calling out Bailey. You know, she, she demolishes her on the mic. Let's let's be real. Now, I'm very interested in this one. My pick for the match is Shayna. But I'd like to see Eo or Rhea, you know, get the get the rub and go through. But I can't bet against Shayna in this. Oh, but I should have done Eo Shirai with the victory. Very good, very nice. Kofi, Biggie, Xavier Woods versus the Undisputed Era. You gotta go for the new day, surely. And they lose. Oh, damn. Okay. That's very interesting. Shinsuke Seth, AJ Samoa Joe. I go in Shin and Seth. Is it gonna be them? It's not. My predictions are awful on this video. Kevin Owens, self promotion, does what he does best. D Bry, Finn Balor. Uh, I like Balor, but I think D Bry is gonna edge it. Jesus Christ, right. You know what, I'm not going to... I'm going to predict who I don't want to win. Uh, actually, I'd be happy with any of these. Um, who would I, who do I want least to win? Uh, Ricochet? Yeah, we'll go Ricochet, least favourite to win. Uh, I'd be happy with any of them, but... Raise my first pick. And then... Adam Cole, then Black, then Ricochet. But we're going to watch the match and see who becomes the first ever UCW Intercontinental Champion. 
he looks pretty good though in game does look a little dead behind the eyes there's a little smirk going on Ricochet is looking alright good character model I like the fact that we just can see Alistair Black rise up with no music it's like oh you're right our kids are just walking up oh, lovely nap you know it's a decent character model I, I don't know about the jacket the jacket looks a bit naff but his actual character model is pretty good that's such a deadly stare Hey, Ray Ray. What a guy. Living legend. One of my childhood favourites. His 2006 Royal Rumble victory. Ah, oh, it's one of my best moments watching wrestling as a kid. And sick character model. Arguably not that hard because he's behind the masks. Just get the mask right. But, you know, the rest of him looks pretty good. It is that man, Adam Cole. Baby. Hey, we still got it from the crowd. That's nice. Oh, his hands are very veiny. Uh, you know what? Look, it's a decent character model. He looks a bit more muscular than he actually is, I think. But not too bad. Oh, go on, Ray Ray. Go on, Ray Ray. Oh, he's hit it. 6 1 9. Get up there. Pin him. Pin him. 1 2. Oh. Damn it, Ray. So close. Where's Ricochet going? Oh, wow. Okay. That was spectacular. So Adam Cole has a finisher, Ricochet has a finisher, Alistair Black has a signature, Ray has a signature and a finisher. This is going to be interesting. Ray Mysterio is absolutely going to town. Come on, 619. Go on, Ray. Go on, Ray. Show him how it's done. Quick, pin him. Pin him. One. Two. Ray did it! Damn, okay. Ray Mysterio! My one prediction that I think I've got right. With that lovely belt. What an image. What a man. What a legend. Living legend. Okay, we don't get to see anything. That's fantastic. But there you have it. We've crowned our second champion. Rey Mysterio is the UCW Intercontinental Champion. Oh, that actually warms my heart. There's hope in the world. I'm going to leave that one there for today. Next week, we probably will crown the first ever women's champion. And we'll see who gets to the finals of the UCW Heavyweight Championship Tournament. But I've been Parker P. If you've enjoyed this video and this series as a whole, please leave a like on the video. Comment what you have enjoyed and also what you haven't enjoyed because that way I can get some feedback. And feedback is key for me to improving in the future. And then finally, please share the channel some major love and hit that subscribe button. We're trying to reach 200 subscribers. We're nearly there. We're very close. Uh, but yes, once again, I've been Parker P, and I shall see you all next time.